Welcome to MuchMod YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a demonstration of Vever motorcycle lift. For the first part of the video, I will just use the lift itself without the dolly. Um, the part is quite compact. It's only 3.7 inches tall, so it fits easily under my road glide. There you go. This is the first time I'm using the lift on my motorcycle, so I'm being extra careful walking around, double checking. That's why I'm speeding up the video, otherwise, we'll be here forever. I got the lift to a height that I want it. It's high enough uh, to spin the rear wheel, and that's good enough for me, at least for now. I'm going to try to lift it a little bit more, see if that front wheel goes up a bit more. I don't think it will, but I'm just uh, being super extra careful. I'm checking everything, and damn, my puppy just scared the shit out of me. He's a good helper, but sometimes he's too much. All right, I'm going to lower the motorcycle and speed this up again just to save some time. Congratulations, you made it to the second part of this video. We're gonna be using exactly the same equipment, Vever motorcycle lift, except with a dolly. Let's check it out. You're not gonna believe what's gonna happen next. Wait for it. There it is. Did you see that? The bearing fell out of the fixing nut. I couldn't believe it. This is the second time I'm using this lift. And it's failing already. That portion of a tool came pre-assembled. So I don't know if it's a factory defect or what. But uh, I'm going to continue uh, using the lift. Hopefully it doesn't break down further on me. Because the motorcycle lift is on a dolly right now, there's not enough clearance to fit under the motorcycle on a jiffy stand. So I'm just going to uh, put the motorcycle upright and slide the dolly and the lift underneath with my feet. As you can see, I'm tippy toeing because I'm 160 centimeters or 5 feet 3 inches. And I'm not wearing my riding boots because these cool socks. Oh, little buddy. No, sorry, we're not going for a ride. I think it should be good now. Let's try to lift it. And again, I'm going to try to speed this up as much as I can. Hopefully you guys get the full effect. So I managed to lift the rear. And it's working. It's quite challenging to move it around, especially since I'm doing it the first time. Blood and tears. But yeah, you can move it around quite easily once you get the hang of it. And now I'm just lowering it. As I was putting the lift back, I've noticed that the bearing, another bearing was loose. I turned the nut and another one came out. That's the third one for today. So I'm quite disappointed with this. I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, the lift uh, does what it's supposed to. It lifted my 850 pound bike, but as I just mentioned, like this bearing thing, I don't know. You're welcome to leave some comments on your experience with this lift. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Shift gears and cheers.